Normally, when a player is in the league this long, we talk about his legendary statistics. We'll talk about his legendary standing in the game. What's remarkable about Matt Cullen is he's not entirely remarkable. And I don't say that to disparage him. I say it as a tribute to the fact the guy's still in the league at the age of 42. He's drafted in the second round in 1996 by the Mighty Ducks. He's been in the league long enough that the name of the team has changed since they drafted him. Not only that, but he he follows an odd career path. Other than the Pittsburgh Penguins, any team he's played for has either either been relocated or a brand new team. The only exception is that one year for the Rangers that just gets in the middle. But for the most part, most of his career he's spent with teams that are either uh, recent expansions or a relocation. Um, After the 96 draft, uh, his first year... Uh, post-draft he's not in the NHL Um, he had a university career before playing in the NHL was highly thought of in his rookie season 97-98 plays 61 games six goals 21 assists for 27 points unremarkable 98-99 75 games 11 goals 14 assists 15 25 points 15 my math I tell you you know that's a 25 right there so his games go up by 14 and his goals go up, but his assists go down, so his points go down. <coughs> and it's considered mildly disappointing for second-round draft pick, who was thought to have probably more offensive upside than he showed. But third season, 99-2000, he turns it around. 80 games played, 13 goals, 26 assists, 39 points. 2000-2001 uh, for Anaheim, 82 games, 10 goals, 30 assists, 40 points. The Anaheim Ducks have their up seasons, their down seasons here and there, uh, but they haven't found their footing. They haven't found what they're going to need to win a Stanley Cup. And when they do, he won't be on that team, but he will get to a Stanley Cup before Anaheim does. 2001-2002, he plays 79 games, 18 goals, 30 assists, 48 points. Really solid season for him there. By his standards, very solid season. And yet, 2002-2003, 50 games played, 7 goals, 14 assists, 21 points. And he's traded for the first time in his career. January 20th, 2003, he's traded with Pavel Trinka. And a 2003 fourth round draft pick who never plays in the NHL. For Sanders Ozelinch and Lance Ward. And congratulations to Anaheim for getting Sanders Ozelinch. One of the most fun names to say in the NHL's um, many years that I've followed it. But, uh, you know, for Cullen, he goes to Florida, which is not a team on the rise at all. Plays 30 games that first year. Uh, Six goals, six assists. 2003-2004 plays 56 games, gets six goals, 13 assists for 19 points, and done. He is done as a a Florida Panther. Uh, 2004-2005, during the lockout season, he goes over and plays in Italy, scores a ton in Italy. It's Italy. Uh, and, And he comes back seemingly better. He ends up in Carolina. Uh, so again, he goes Anaheim, Florida, Carolina. Carolina, of course, having moved from Hartford in 96. Um, Carolina, first season, 2005-2006. It's magic, right? 78 games played, 25 goals, 24 assists, 49 points. They win a Stanley Cup, and Matt Cullen plays a definite role in that. I believe he had 18 points, 24 games. Um, sadly, however, can't come to an agreement with the Carolina Hurricanes coming out of that Stanley Cup season. And July 1st of 2016, he signs with the Rangers at four years for $11.5 million. Um, 2006-2007 with the Rangers, he spends one year. 80 games played, 16 goals, 25 assists, 41 points. July of that following summer, so July 17th of 2017, he's traded for Andrew Hutchinson and a 2008 third round pick who is not an NHL level player. So he goes back to... Carolina. Carolina Hurricanes, clearly after a year of missing the playoffs, following a year of winning the Stanley Cup, go, hey, we got to get some of these guys back. And they tried. The magic could not be recreated. 2007, 2008, he misses some games with injury, plays 59 overall, 13 goals, 36 assists, 49 points. So he ties his career high of 49 points, sets a career high of 36 assists. He won't reach again. Um, But the end result is still Carolina being frustrated. 
2008-2009, he plays 69 games with Carolina, 22 goals, 21 assists, 43 points. That is one of two 20-goal seasons he has in his career. Uh, again, not a remarkably high-scoring career. Not a guy who's brought back and plays all these games because he brings some offensive um, skill set that nobody else can, but because he has that leadership ability. 2009-2010, um, he plays 60 games in Carolina, has 12 goals, 28 assists, and then guess what? Carolina trades him. Uh, they traded him uh, to the Ottawa Senators for uh, Alexander Picard and a 2010 second-round draft pick that becomes Martin Marinson. So there's a trivia answer if you want one. Uh, plays 21 games in Ottawa, 4 goals, 4 assists, 8 points. It's not considered to be a relationship that works very well. He's a pure rental. July twenty or July first of twenty ten, uh, he is signed by the Minnesota Wild to a three year, uh, ten point five million dollar extension. So again, he goes Carolina, Ottawa, Minnesota. So again, newer teams to the NHL. It's it's just bizarre that he spends most of his career when he's productive as most productive. We'll put it that way, most productive. Uh, with teams that are newer to the NHL. Uh, with Minnesota in 2010-2011, play 78 games, 12 goals, 27 assists, 39 points. 2011-2012, 73 games, 14 goals, 21 assists, 35 points. And this is right in and around where he ends up playing from then on. His point production level stays right around there. 2012-2013, uh, this is of course the lockout shirt and season, 42 games played, 7 goals, 20 assists, 27 points. Uh, following that, they let his contract expire. He signs a two-year deal with the Nashville Predators for $7 million. So he's made a lot of money for a guy who's had two 20-goal seasons. He's played a lot, of, a lot of games to get that a lot of money. But he's made his share of money. Not hurting. Um, Nashville, that first year, 2013-2014, 77 games played, 10 goals, 29 assists, 39 points. 2014-2015, 62 games played, only 7 goals, 18 assists, 25 points. Coming out of that season, he is not a highly sought-after free agent. He sits out there till August. August 6th of 2015, he signs where? Pittsburgh to a one-year $800,000 contract. Pittsburgh loves that contract because uh, he plays 82 games, has 16 goals, 16 assists, 32 points, really solidifies their bottom six, and they win a Stanley Cup. What happens that following summer? He sits again. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Um, he sits till August, August 17th of 2016, Pittsburgh re-signs him for one year at $1 million. And of course, he wasn't going to sign anywhere but Pittsburgh. Uh, he wanted to go back to Pittsburgh, so if there were other contracts out there, odds are he wouldn't have wanted to sign him anyways. Uh, 72 games played with Pittsburgh that second year, 13 goals, 18 assists, 31 points. They win a Stanley Cup. So that's three Stanley Cups for him with two different teams. Uh, then he goes as a free agent again. August 16th of 2017, so almost a year to the day after he signed his contract with Pittsburgh, he signs a one-year, $1 million contract with Minnesota. Last year with Minnesota, plays 79 games, 11 goals, 11 assists. There were rumors all throughout the season that Pittsburgh probably wanted Cullen back. Pittsburgh was very likely wanting to trade for Matt Cullen. It just never happened. He stayed in Minnesota the whole season, played 79 games, 11 goals, 11 assists, 22 points. And the feeling was, A, it was a surprise he didn't retire after the 2017 Stanley Cup. B, he was going to retire after the 2017-2018 season in Minnesota. Uh, you know, he goes home, plays for his home team, does well. I believe he's from Minnesota. And, uh, you know, does well enough. And, and that's the end of a solid career. July 1st of 2018, so he doesn't have to wait till August for the first time in a while. He signs a one-year 650 k contract, which he's playing out this year with Pittsburgh. He's played 55 games, 5 goals, 12 assists, 17 points. His goals, low by his standards, but he's not being paid to score goals by Pittsburgh. He's being paid to, again, bring that experience to that bottom six, stability to the bottom six. He has now played 1,500 games in the NHL, has 264 goals, 464 assists, 728 points. He has scored below a half a point per game over his career, and he scored over 700 points in his career. Cullen, fantastic player uh, for, for being in the league this long, for the fact that every time that players go, well, I guess that's probably the last we've seen him. Thanks, Matt, for all your help. 
And fans are like, all right, well, Matt Collins riding off in the sunset, and he comes back. And he comes back well enough to play in a game that is designed for young kids, in a game where half the league is 24 and younger, and he, at age 42, is still playing it and keeping up with those kids. So there you go, the career of, uh, of Matt Cullen, uh, who was drafted in 1996 and is still playing. And we've got guys in the league who were born after that. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, congratulations on a 1,500 game career to a guy who's made a career out of uh, filling in the gaps where they're needed. Sometimes it says a scorer. Sometimes it says a secondary player, role player. Whatever a team needs, Cullen's willing to provide it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.